Hello everybody! So I'm here to show you my orchids that are currently in bloom. As you can see there, I have one on the um, the right, the Cattleya, mini Cattleya, and a mini Phalaenopsis, and a big Phalaenopsis. And the one on the middle is the Jewel Orchid, and of course the Vinicolor. Papia pedulum lady sleeper but today I would focus on how to grow this Ludicia discolor or jewel orchid because currently it's in bloom so I think it's a good time to talk about it and how I grow it inside my home as you can see there um, this is how I grow it so I grow it in peat moss basically so as you would know, the Ludicia discolor is a terrestrial orchid. So it doesn't really like uh, to cling on trees or branches or like w orchids that are epiphytic. Epiphytic means that they have roots that cling on on rough surfaces, just like bran uh, branches or uh, tree trunks because those have rough surfaces these plants tend to grow on um, piles of leaves you know um, decomposing material coming from um, the leaves of you know or twigs or things like that from the forest so basically they're on the forest floor most of them so a lot of them uh, come from the Southeast Asia region of the world so including the Philippines Vietnam um, you know all of those places there they have different types of this jewel orchids um, as you could see there it's currently in bloom they're not very I mean by just looking at each flower that they're not really that remarkable so you could see there the pollen seems to be encapsulated in this corn like kernel as you could see so there you go so it's definitely nothing like a cattleya or a phalaenopsis that you would expect So I have the three spikes here growing and uh, what I could say about this one is that um, they really do bloom this time of year around winter time they have a different growth pattern when it becomes colder definitely so they tend to branch out and when they start to branch out like um, as you would see uh, making new branches like this creeping branches across the medium that's when they start to grow their spikes so definitely you should have like a relatively big uh, plant before they actually give out like a, a spectacular display like this like give out two or more spikes so what else what else can I say about this it really likes to have a lot of moisture it tends not to um, it doesn't really like to be uh, kept dry or anything like that um, so I usually supply it with water and keeps I keep the peat moss re relatively moist all the time but that's basically it. it they don't really like a lot of light um, even just you know just put them in a bright room but they don't have to be by the window or anything like that they will grow um, in any type of light diffused light 
and um, I usually put them at the bottom of the of the uh, the rack for orchids because they don't really need to catch the light coming from the lamps coming I mean the lamps that provide the light from the top what else so basically that's it it's so easy to take care of and much more is like you would always have this really nice well patterned um you know the 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 intricate patterns on their on their leaves but as you could see when they tend to get older they turn red and usually when they turn red that's what when they start to um to fall off all right sometimes they do turn red when there's too much light so i will try to keep them in a, a relatively darker area of my growing space so so it wouldn't the uh, go grow to um you know scraggly and bald you know in one way all right so speaking of beautiful leaves all year round i really like the leaves on this modier papiopedilum here because of its mottling as you could see there so i really like those patterns on its leaves just like the mottled pedanopsis i really like those too so anything with mottling definitely i like them all right so I would just like to uh, give an update on my Tulumnia orchid also, so you would remember. If you look onto my old videos, this has like a red flower on it with some highlights of yellow and white, if I remember it correctly. And now, it's in bud. It's really interesting because um, this is quite a small growth. As you could see, it's not even done yet. And it's turning purple because there's so much light in my growing area. Maybe I try to put it away on a less bright area. And there's a spike on a relatively bigger fan here. So there are two spikes. One here. And then another one here. So it's nice. And it just keeps out, uh, keeps putting out a lot of growth on the roots. And that means that it's vigorously growing and hopefully it would, would give me more uh, new uh, fans just like this. So all of them would bloom. As you can see, there's some fans here that bloom twice. So that's a good, that's a good uh, sign right all right and it's quite easy to take care of tulumias because once you wet them make sure they dry out fast and then they're good to go like if you only do it once a week it's fine twice a week would be better but once a week should be fine for these guys and they'll just keep on growing yeah they don't really like getting so wet all the time just like the cattleyas of course and then I put the Cattleya on this container here, so with no holes, as you would see. So I could keep on um, um, watering it, you know, the lazy method of watering, as you would see. So pretty much all of my orchids are in lazy watering mode now. Of course, this one is always in lazy watering mode. It's always just in water. The papiopedilum is like, I just fill that with water and then forget about it. And it really likes it moist too. And keeps the, the live moss alive. And um, so that's basically it for the, in, the guys in Blossom. I want to show you how I grow my live mosses. Um, here's the uh, live mosses that I currently have and they just keep on growing beside my hara ella odorata and they're just soaking in the water from the pool and they just like that yeah so i would put this on top of the 
topmost layer for my potting mix so to keep all everything in everything in high humidity because a lot of these guys like high humidity and I'm gonna use that as a topping for all of the potting mix and then I would give you a quick update on my time-lapse video So currently, I'm doing a time-lapse video of a Milton, Miltoniopsis, as you can see there. So, in another Oncidium blooming. So I'm gonna post about this very soon. And watch out for the time-lapse of this really beautiful bloom. I really like the... Uh, the intricate pattern on the lip all right uh, hope to see you soon and don't forget to subscribe to my videos so you would be able to uh, see my newest videos as soon as i uploaded them all right be growing friends bye, -bye.